One of the great aspects of Equid is the visually engaging product pages that ensure your shoppers have an enjoyable experience. Another great aspect is that you can further customize these product pages to match your needs through product types and attributes. Product types are groups of products that share the same attributes. And attributes can be anything that the products share. For instance, a clothing product type will share something like gender, size, and possibly even color. In fact, let's go ahead and add that since my demo store is pretty much a clothing store. I'm gonna click add new product type. I'm gonna click on apparel and accessories, but if you scroll down, there's pretty much everything there that you might want to use. You'll note that there are many subcategories, so you can drill down and find just the one you want, or you can search for it here in the search bar. Well, I'm gonna just choose the clothing product type, and the attributes that get added are specific to the type of product you select. UPC and brand belong to the general attribute and they're added automatically as global attributes. Global attributes means that those attributes exist regardless of product type. What you'll see here in the green are attributes that are dictated by the product type you choose in the previous screen. If at any time you're not sure what an attribute might be, just hover over the question mark and you'll get an explanation. Gender, age group, color, and size are added as part of the clothing product type. Now there's a lot going on here. I can choose to show or hide any attribute. This comes in handy because we may want to have UPC codes on our products, but we don't really want to show them on our store, so you can just choose to not show one. In fact, here I have an age group one that I'll never use, so I'm just going to hide that as well. Incidentally, if you do leave one of these blank on a product, it won't show up anyway. Also, I can rearrange these. Some people might want to know about color before they know about size, so I can just click and drag. And lastly, I can even rename these. If I wanted to change the name brand to say clothing brand for this particular product type, I can do that. Lastly, I can even add new attributes for a product type. I'm gonna call this fit and click Save. So this is our product type for all of the clothing we have on our store. All right, head over to Catalog and Products. And I'm gonna click on my casual men's shirt and click on Attributes. By default, when you add a product to your store, it's going to show up in the general product type. We'll change the type and choose clothing. And there's our new attributes. Notice UPC and age group will never show up, even if I put something in those fields. So the clothing brand, Rod's Cool Clothing Company. The color is blue since it is a blue shirt. It's a men's shirt. We have extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. And the fit is a comfort fit. So that's all you have to do. Now, when we click Save on this product and go ahead and view it in the store, you'll see that just above the description is now all of the attributes that we've added to this product. Once again, this helps with people looking for your products, but it also helps with search engine optimization, knowing that a search engine will be able to look at this text and index it for each product. And that's just tremendously helpful. So product types, again, groups of products that share the same attributes and you can have as many product types on your store as you need and you can assign any product type to any product.